Welcome back. Um, here to give you another demonstration of how to assemble a vase mount Raspberry Pi case, this time uh, from manufacturer MCM Electronics. One thing I do like about this other case is it does allow you um, direct access to things like your GPIO ports, your ribbons, uh, things like that. So if you are using those, that, uh, that, that accessibility isn't being blocked off. Um, so this is, I would say this is a slightly more advanced version of the previous case that I, I assembled, um, but uh, to each their own. So with that, let's get right into it. All right, so this time around, um, we have a slightly different case. Um, this one um, has a little bit different take on the assembly. Rather than using plastic tabs to hold the, the pie in place, uh, it instead has some vertical plastic pieces that fit into both sides of the board. So a um, little different take, we'll get into that in a minute. So this first bag has pretty much everything you need. All of your um, plastic tabs, um, sockets, screws, everything. And then this is the bag containing all the parts for the vase mount. Um, the screws, these posts actually help stand the case away from the monitor so you don't risk scratching the back. Kind of like that as a little feature. Uh, naturally your Raspberry Pi and I uh, had some questions about the last video on this. This is an anti-static wrist strap. Basically it just fits around your wrist. Make sure this metal part makes contact with your skin. Cinch it up and what this does is it has a little cord that connects to it that has metal running throughout it. What you do is you basically attach this clip, alligator clip, to some piece of grounded metal so that you're not conducting electricity and, and don't have any static discharge to potentially fry the board. Um, so just a little safety precaution so that you make sure your $35 investment doesn't go down the tubes. So uh, Basically the concept with this case is that it uses these plastic tabs uh, to sit in the base of the case and then fit snugly in the top. So it's got four of those that it uses. They actually sent me six. It's always nice to have more than needed just in case you lose one. Um, you also have eight of these screws. Um, these actually will be fitting into posts that you secure from both sides, both on the top layer and on the bottom. So um, that's how it serves to sandwich the two pieces together. And then uh, four of these rubber feet going on the back to uh, further prevent any damage uh, to the pie or the monitor. Um, and uh, my tools today, uh, this case is a little bit easier to work with. Um, we have uh, my sonic screwdriver. This thing's awesome because it actually will drive both ways no matter how you rotate it. Um, and then just a five millimeter socket driver. So pretty simple on this one. Just a Phillips and a five millimeter socket are all you need. And uh, really, really easy assembly. So uh, with that, let's uh, get into it. Alright, so first thing we're going to want to do is to put four screws in the bottom. You can actually tip this upside down so it's a little bit easier to drop them in. And then hold them in place, flip it back around, and drop one out like that. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so from there we're actually going to be attaching one of these posts on each side.
All right, so once those posts are on, you can then move to these plastic tabs, dropping one in each of these spots. Now it has these little cutouts down at the bottom to indicate where the pie will be resting. And the pie only fits on here one way. Um, what I like about this is that it allows you access to both the SD card as well as the network card. Man, I am really having difficulties with this. There we go. Once those are in place, take the top piece and match up your posts. Alright, with those pieces in place, you can now secure the final screws. Okay, so that is your completed case. A couple things you can do after the fact. If you're just going to use it on your desktop, this is more than sufficient. Uh, but if you want to make sure you're not scratching up any surfaces, that's what we've got these little rubber feet for. So I like to put one just directly next to each screw. go. One thing I do want to point out is the slots that have been cut out for you to be able to access the ribbons. So if you're utilizing those, that's a pretty nice feature. Um, personally, we don't uh, utilize much beyond the, uh, the base adapter. So. And last but not least, you have your posts and your screws for the actual vase amount. So, uh, I'm just going to get these started with my fingers. And these are actually big enough that you don't necessarily need a bit to put them down all the way. After that, uh, depending on what ports you like to utilize, you can flip it one of two ways. Um, Personally, we don't really use the audio or the composite video out, so I like to mount those on the top. And you can just get started with one of those. have your fully mounted base amount raspberry pie thanks for watching uh, hope this helps you out um, in your raspberry pie journey um, I know they've definitely been very beneficial for us in our environment I uh, would like to give thanks to a couple projects in particular uh, berry boot uh, if you're not familiar with that bootloader for the raspberry pie allows you to use multiple operating systems really cool check it out um, Raspbian, the uh, Debian distro for Raspberry Pis is excellent. Um, LTSP, um, Linux Terminal Server Project, um, helps us cut down on costs immensely. And um, yeah, uh, many other projects, um, XBMC, OpenELEC, all that. Um, so yeah, feel free to leave us a comment below. Um, if you like, uh, Give us a subscribe. I know my buddy BJ appreciates it with all the effort that he puts into the production of these videos. So, and uh, yeah, until next time, have a good one.